Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a login page using HTML and CSS. I have already created a project folder with an index.html file and imported it into the Visual Studio code. If you don't know how to do it please watch the previous video. Let's add the basic HTML5 boilerplate. I'm gonna change the page title to login. Next I'm gonna create a div with a class login wrap. Inside the div I'm gonna create another div with a class login form wrap. Inside the login form wrapper div I'm gonna create the form. The form element is a container for different types of input elements, such as, text fields, checkboxes, radio buttons, submit buttons, etc. Now I'm gonna use the h4 tag to create a heading. After that I'm gonna create a div with a class form group. Inside that I will create a label with the text username and an input field. Let's change the input type to text. And add the class form control. Copy and paste the form group then change the label to password and also change the input type to password. The password type will mask characters we type. Now create a login button with the classes btn and btn primary. Let's open the HTML so that we can see how it looks. Okay it looks really bad. Let's add the needed styling to make it beautiful. I'm gonna create a CSS file with the name style and then I will link it to the HTML file. To create the CSS file, right click anywhere in the window, select new then select text document. Rename it to style and change the extension to .css. The CSS linking tag must be inside the head section. The link tag contains two sections, rel and href. The rel tag specifies the relationship between the current document and the link document. In this case it is style sheet. href specifies the file location. First of all I'm gonna change the default padding and margin of the HTML and body to zero. Let's change the background color of the body to light black color. Let's style the login wrap div. I'm gonna change the height of the login wrap div to 100 VH. VH represent the viewport percentage length unit based on the browser default size. I will change the display property to flex. Align items to center and justify content to center. This will make the element inside the login wrap div to the center of the page by vertically and horizontally. Let's style the login form wrap div. As you can see the login form wrap is the child element of the login wrap division we will first mention the parent class which is login wrap. Then after a space we will write the child class which is login from wrap. I'm gonna change the background color to white. And also add a padding of 25 PA. Then I'm gonna change the font size of the heading to 25 PX. Next I'm gonna change the display property of the label to block. I will change its font size to 14px. Then I will add a padding bottom of 5px. Let's add Google fonts to the login page. For that search Google fonts, then click on the first link. Choose any font, I'm gonna use Roboto font family. I will choose the normal and bold variations. Copy the link from the right side and paste it on the head section of the HTML page. Then copy the CSS and paste it in the HTML, body style section. Refresh the page, now you can see the font has been changed to Roboto. I'm gonna change the width of the, the login form wrap div to 300px. Let's add a padding top of 20px to the form group. Now I'm gonna style the input box. Change the border sizing property to border box, height to 35px and 10px of padding on both sides and width 100%. If you don't use the border sizing property to border box, the width will overflow. 
Now let's change the width of the button to 100%. Then add a margin top of 15px and height 35px. Then change the background color to light black. Now I'm gonna change the text color of the button to white. And border property to none. Now let's add a hover state. Let's add a dark black color on the hover state. Add a transition of 0.3 seconds to smoothen the effect. Here you have it. We have created the login page. If you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.